Now you've heard of pressure cookers, famous pressure cooker from Wolfgang Puck. We love pressure cookers because everything stays juicy inside, but what about if you wanted a crisp on the outside, juicy on the inside, a pressure oven will do that. You know, and there's nobody else in the world who has the patent. We have the patent for the pressure oven, so you only can get it here with us at HSN. You could go out and resell it probably in your backyard or in your front yard, yes. and you could charge more money, but this is really a patent. We own the patent. And I think you can really have an oven you never had before. I have one at home. I have a big stove in my house. I never light up the oven. If I make toast in the morning or if I heat up french fries for the kids, I always use that. Now, naturally, if you roast a rack of lamp or if I cook fish, I put it in there. Like, I love the sea bus where I put a little breadcrumbs, a little butter and breadcrumbs, and just put it underneath the boiler, and it cooks it to perfection. And I do recommend that the, you get the pressure oven cookbook. I think we have yeah. some left. Uh, the cookbook is 1995. It has over 100 recipes, um, a, you know, for for the things that you're going to see in our show today. But it's, re you know, I just, uh, Marianne uh, gets his uh, cookbook here. Everything has a beautiful picture, and it really is a very unique way to have that perfect you know, turkey, chicken, and it, there's a rotisserie totally. too. It has a rotisserie, and look at that. Then we have the knife sharpener also here still, I think so. So before, yes. each time before I cut my turkey or my roast beef or anything, I put a few strokes on the sharpener and that's it. It's under $20, it's $19.95. Yeah. It's a customer pick with it? 424 reviews. Comes with a one year warranty. It's also great for sharpening scissors. Um, so if you're a crafter or a sewer, um, it, these, it's fabulous for doing scissors, but a sharp knife is a safe knife. So if you don't have a knife sharpener, this is a great one at under $20. And it doesn't matter if you have the most expensive knife uh, totally, or more totally. affordable knife. I knives. just ordered two knives for $270. <laughs> People are gonna think I'm crazy. If I tell that to my wife, she's gonna say, you know what? <laughs> Do you need you that? could buy me a pair of shoes for that. I say, well, I need knives, it's yes. better. <laughs> but I think every knife gets dull sooner or later. So you need a sharpener. You need that really. And this is so much easier than, you know, you have the sharpeners with the steel like that where you go like this. And that's also mm. dangerous. It's easy to cut yourself. All right, Greg, how we do here? I think let's start with the ham, boss. Oh, with the, start with the ham. All okay, right. he loves the ham sausage, uh, the ham, uh, roasted yeah. ham for his sandwich. Absolutely. All right, All let's right. do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let me also mention that if you have an HSN card, you get an extra flex payment. Your pressure oven oh, is $33.33 to get home. That's what makes it really juicy. Oh boy, look at that. Now okay. this pressure oven cooks like nothing else. Yep. There's nothing else. It's combining the, you know, what you love about an oven yep. with what you love about a pressure cooker because it cooks faster and really infuses the juices. Okay, so let me tell you how that works. Okay. Look in the oven in here, okay? You have the heater in the back for the rotisserie on top on the bottom. Then if you close it, it seals it hermetically because you have the lever here. Can you see that? Okay. And you have the valve just like a pressure oven. So now no moisture escapes and no flavor escapes. So if the air is full of moisture, the chicken, the roast beef, anything you make will stay full and moist and flavorful. So because no moisture goes out, you know, once the air in there is full of moisture, it doesn't draw out moisture. So moisture gets drawn out of something when the air is dry. So that's the way it goes really. So hermetically seed, it infuses everything with flavor and it keeps all the juices right where it's supposed to be. Not in your pan, not in the air, in the kitchen or somewhere, right in the meat. Now, here we have our roasted ham. Oh, that looks good. I know, Greg loves that. He says that and the Budweiser and he is in seventh heaven already. Oh, I love it. We're gonna jump to the phones and welcome Didi from New Jersey who owns the pressure oven and loves it. Hi Didi, you're on live. Hi Didi, how are you? Hi sir, how are you? I am excellent. Now that you call, I'm even better. <laughs> <laughs> what do you I love have... about your pressure oven, Didi? Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, I just love it because I use it all the time. Um, that pot roast in three hours instead of six hours 
is incredible. Yeah. And my mom is uh, older and can't chew a lot, and it comes out like butter for her. Aww. Um, but I was uh, telling your producer, I guess, I had a Christmas where, um, for some reason, our gas lines were low, and I had filet mignon in my oven. And I knew I was going to get to medium rare, but for the medium to well people, I wasn't going to get there. I employed, I looked up the times, I got it into the pressure oven, and I was able to serve everyone. I cut the whole filet in half, yeah. put the other half in the pressure oven. And, and it's done at the same give, time. Oh, my gosh. I was able to give everybody from rare to medium well the whole thing at one time. It was amazing. Oh, I think I should come over to your house. You look like <laughs> you, you take should. care of everybody. <laughs> I would love to cook for you. <laughs> okay, Didi. I will show up one day, and then you're going to say I didn't invite you. <laughs> oh, no. That's I bring you a bottle of a few, a few <laughs> bottles of wine, okay? All right. I am, uh, I, am a, I am such a fan of yours, and the oven is awesome. And thank you so much. It's a pleasure to talk to you. You know, thank you, Didi, so much. And I should say almost happy holidays, even if it's a little early but yeah. the holidays are coming around and you're gonna need an extra oven you want to have the best turkey ever so now you can do it with this oven so if you want to cook your um uh, turkey for the holiday well how yeah. long how many i mean how much time you're really going to save well you know the funniest thing was i told the story before so when we started this oven i think it's three years ago now but we still have the only patent nobody else does it so my sister-in-law and my brother and their daughter come for dinner at five o'clock. I told them, come at five o'clock. We have a little cocktail and then we have dinner. And she comes and she sees my two turkeys like that in the pan <laughs> at five o'clock. And she, you could see her short arms and she looked. Better so she asked me, when ready. do we gonna eat? I said, well, at six o'clock. She looked at me, she said, you mean you're gonna cook the turkey in one hour? I said, yeah. Where? In my pressure oven. Sure enough, I put salt and pepper on it. The roasting pan comes with it, so it makes it really easy. I put a few branches of rosemary in here, a little cinnamon uh, rind, and then I put this turkey right in here. Yeah. And put a little salt, give me a little salt, may I Thank you very much. A little salt and pepper inside and outside. And then I just put a little olive oil on it. And that's it? That's it. An hour later, dinner. An hour later, it was ready. That's, a, that's incredible. So now if we touch poultry like that, we always clean sanitizer our hand. Yeah. yeah, sanitizer is right here, so people don't think I'm crazy and I don't know what the law is. <laughs> we don't we, we don't you know the law. Yeah, we want to be safe out yes. there, so you have a sink. I don't have a sink here. And yeah. now we are ready to roast them. So if I want to now, yep. look at that. So I open the gate here, the door, open the oven. We're gonna put our turkey right in here. Okay, see it fits perfectly in here. We close it, we put the lever down, we put the wolf on seal. And now I'm gonna put it on 400, 450, somewhere 400 is okay. If it gets too brown, put a little aluminum foil on top. Okay. Then we have here all the different things to cook for. So you have, let's see, roast, toast, bake, warm, rotisserie. Rotisserie has the motor in it to a turn And it, it comes with the rotisserie. It comes with the rotisserie okay. and boil. So we put it on roast. And now we have the timer here. We said, I'm gonna put it on 55 minutes and then let it rest for 10 minutes. You know, we generally don't have the time here, so I often have to cut into meat and uh, I don't let it rest, especially roast beef. So always, when you roast chicken, when you roast turkey, when you roast any kind of meat, let it rest before cutting into it. It's always a good idea because that way the juice is gonna be spread out through the meat instead of running out. That's a, uh, a great tip. And yeah. by the way, this is a customer pick. It, yeah. The regular price is $349.95. So look what you get here. See that? All this pan, where's the big pan? Um, the big pan is oh, included. Oh, it's right in it's, here. It's so you have the oven. 
You get this pan here, my roasting pan. You saw me put the turkey in here. Mm -hmm. Obviously the rock, and here is the rotisserie spit. So we're gonna make our zero chicken breast here. You hold chicken, you can put whatever you think. Okay, you then can do like a leg of lamb. Yeah, a leg of lamb, whatever you want. Now here, this is to take the spit out. Oh, okay, for safety, yeah. just to like get exactly. it out, get it out of the oven. Then here you have an other tray with the rock on top. So if you wanna cook something, like sometimes I cook salmon, I steam my fish. I put liquid underneath, put the fish on top, and it steams it, so it's also a steamer. So you get that all inclusive. Everything's included, and yeah. it comes with a, some recipes in the book, and right? on top of it, we have yeah. some recipes, and Marianne, do, we also have Marianne's cookbook, so. Right, the cookbook is available as well. Rotisserie chicken, we have beef tenderloin, mm -hmm. we have rotisserie prime rib, mm -hmm. we have Meatloaf, we have easy chicken penne. Ooh. You can cook rice in there, deep dish pizza, bratwurst on the rotisserie, you name it. We can right. cook it in here. And and the cookbook for this pressure oven is 1995, and I really recommend it because it's you know the, all the times are there and it's going to be super super easy. But um, I mean I was all really right, now look at okay. That. We were talking about the rotisserie. <laughs> Here it is, right in here. Can you see that? Oh, I'd love to get a shot through the oven. I'm just like the, oh, you guys, what a great Look shot. See that? Look at it dripping down there, it looks yeah. gorgeous. How much, is, there, is that long enough, the, the, the chicken or what? I hope so, I've it got a It looks a little pen. light still. Does it? I'll get the thermometer. Okay, now look at that, here it is. You open up, see, and all the steam comes out. So oh, you see boy. how nice it cooks in here but not getting dry because the steam stays inside. It smells amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, absolutely, it All right. smells delicious. And then, what else we have here? Here we have our Indian rice here. You know, a lot of people today are vegetarians. So if you're a vegetarian, you can cook your rice in here, your grains in here. You can put it under pressure so it cooks much faster, so it's really simple I was, I was and warned easy. that this is spicy. Yeah. If I'm gonna well, eat we'll it. Find out. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I've been warned that this is, oh boy. But you know, you think about Wolfgang, wouldn't, you know, if you have a, I'm sure you have like a luxury kitchen, you're you yeah. know, the most famous chef in the world. Um, in, my, in my house, I've got one oven. This is like redoing your entire yeah. kitchen and having an extra oven. Yeah. Like at the holidays, when you wanna be, you know, roasting the turkey, you could have your dessert in, in your oven and you can make so many things at once. So that smells good, I'll tell yeah. you. That smells mm, good. Spicy. Like curry. Okay, mm. we're gonna put it in a little Where's longer, fork? maybe. Where's Marianne, give me the paper oh. back. Okay. Oh, okay. Needs put more? It, in a little, it needs a little more, yeah? Mm, okay. Okay. Well, it smells good oh, already. It smells delicious. So you don't have to worry, just put it back in. Yeah. And I want to give you the dimensions, so you're looking at your counter right now, you're saying, where am I going to put it? It's only 19 and 7 eighths inches long, so it's under 20 inches long. It's 15 and a half inches wide, and the height is only 12 and a half inches. So you think about it, it's kind of like a big, like, toaster oven, you know, on your, ah, on your, and you could take your toaster out, you could take your here. toaster oven out, you could use it to replace other things in your kitchen because this is the one you're going to end up using a lot and in the summer it's not going to heat up your whole kitchen yeah. you know all right should we take out the turkey now oh, i'm excited oh, to see okay, the turkey good. let's see the turkey okay good look in here so look in this pan in this window in here oh, you can see the turkey that looks gorgeous now i'm gonna release the steam okay you see the pressure that's why it comes to a boil underneath the, the juice of the vegetables okay Okay, so you let it open, and now I'm gonna open the door. Look how juicy that look is. Look how just juicy see the it is. Yeah. Just bubble up. You're never gonna have a look, dry look, look at the steam in here. again. Oh, look at that. Oh, gosh. So we took put the paper on it because once it's brown enough, we don't wanna over brown it either. Yep. All right, we want it to have a beautiful. Oh beautiful boy, look color. At that. Look at that. Get it, a close up of that. And this is where we would rest it for 10 minutes yeah, if it was in our house. If you do it at home, okay. let it rest. Okay. Always in a warm place. Okay. And that way you're gonna get really an even better results. But I don't have a lot of time, so. So it's gonna be very hot. It's, it's gonna be <laughs> it's very gonna hot. really hot for you to do this. Yeah. Okay. So there is your gorgeous turkey. Now, uh, this is about a 13-pound turkey? So a 14-pound 14 turkey, 14-pound yeah. turkey, and it took how long? 
We had it in for 55 minutes. 55 minutes yeah. for a 14 pound turkey to be that perfect and done. And look at how juicy, oh, when yeah. you guys see this at home, how juicy the meat I is I know, inside. and how little time. So now you don't have to just cook turkey once a year, and then the rest of the year, you buy turkey meat for your sandwiches, for your salad, for whatever oh, it is. Oh, that looks good. And you know, turkey is actually very inexpensive meat. Exactly. It's, it's not, that, per pound, to buy a whole turkey, it's not that expensive. No, and it feeds, you know, this is a turkey feed quite a few people here, actually. Yeah, Leftovers, you have turkey tacos, yeah. turkey salad. Exactly. There's so many different things you can make with leftovers. Now, here we cut it, and look at his skin. Oh, that's gorgeous. My mom makes turkey tetrazzini with oh. the leftover turkeys. Okay, There's so many good. things you can yeah, make. Good idea, yeah. yeah. Okay, here is our breast. Oh, look at that. And that, you know what? I think the white meat is sort of, you know, going to You know, nobody the, likes the, 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 the mite, <laughs> white meat because it's always dry, but not with us. Now, I'm going to show you here. Look Bone. at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh boy, that is Can you the see white that? meat. Look at, look at how gorgeous that is. Yeah, look at all the chews we have in here. It's like turkey soup right away. I know. <laughs> you can just <laughs> eat you, that. you use the carcass and put it in there. Oh. And here we have the sweet potatoes ready. That looks amazing. I can't, you know, an hour. You think about that, an hour, with, and your kitchen's not gonna be, you know, Bo yeah. bo you know, boiling hot in your oven. And you think about that, you know, how much energy you're using, how much less energy you're using. This is really incredible. A pressure oven. A pressure oven A pressure only oven. here on HSN, nowhere else to be found in the world today. Look at that. Oh, and I love, I love turkey. Everybody lo everybody looks forward to the holiday. Sometimes it's just for the turkey. Yeah. That's what you're actually looking forward to. And then you it's get healthy, that right turkey. It's healthy, good for you, and it's not an expensive thing to eat for dinner. Yeah. It's not like a, you know, very expensive filet mignon. Turkey's very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. I mean, you can make turkey for six or eight people for your family. And the turkey, how much is a pound? I don't even know anymore. Dollar maybe. Uh -huh. right? yeah. 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 They'll be cheaper at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. A lot cheaper. Yeah. I was gonna say because you know it, it, this is just the most beautiful. I mean, and one look at hour. Crispy skin. I mean, this is so perfect. Mm. I'm, I've got my fork here. It's just a little hot. Chef, I'm wondering. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what I'm supposed to dump in get, because get it looks ready, so good. Get ready. Get ready. Yeah, I'm ready. It's all for you. Oh boy, that looks so good. That looks crazy. I know. Can you yeah. imagine? Look at that, the legs. I'm impressed with your, your cutting skills with a billion degree temperature. <laughs> you're just, you're such a I pro. know, my finger has asbestos on it. I so. was going to say, you probably don't even feel it anymore yeah. after all these years. Okay, oh. we save that for us here. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. That looks, I mean, so gorgeous. Even if you just get it for the tur you know, for a turkey. And think how much, yeah. you know, um, Leslie, who did a show earlier, bought the pressure oven afterwards, oh. and she was talking to me, and she said, you know, my kids, I buy them a uh, rotisserie chicken from the uh, the grocery store a couple times a week. If I just rotisserie the chicken at home, it would pay for itself. Yeah. Because that rotis nothing like a rotisserie chicken, and you this comes with a rotisserie. Exactly. Oh, that looks good. I'm, I'm jumping in. Uh huh. That looks so good. Mmm. And it's now, so juicy. yeah. If you don't want to make turkey always with cranberries or any marmalade like that or chutney, you can make a little juice and add a little bit of pesto to the juice and pour it over your turkey breast, and you will see it's a whole different experience. Mm -hmm. Or you can use both. Put a few cranberries on here. Oh boy, look at that. That's ridiculous. Look at I, that. You know, I'm stopping talking because I'm just drooling. <laughs> it looks so good. Now look at that. You bring that for your Thanksgiving table. You know, get a little bigger platter. Maybe Marianne gave me a little look plate at that. only. Take a take a picture of that in your yeah. mind. That's that's what that's what you can yeah, expect. Yeah, go really close in there. Do we have a close up? Oh, uh, gorgeous. Right. By the way, the regular price is three hundred and forty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. I know. I know. We never had a price like that. Even the it's one hundred and fifty dollars off today. Wolfgang. I made one without the rotisserie, and it was as expensive. Yeah. Or even more. Okay, I think yeah. two twenty-nine. Yeah. Uh, and this will also do rotisserie chicken. It comes with the rotisserie. Comes with the spit. Yeah. And there's a rotisserie no, uh, dial, and we're gonna here. take a look. Come on. Okay, so we release the steam. That looks like a roast. It's what a roast, that? it's a chiro. You know the, oh, the yeah, Greek yeah, thing they, they make yeah, on the like spit roast that yeah. the Turkish make it. Every, a lot oh. of people make that actually. Fogo de Jao, this, it, this, oh, look at that. this restaurants, Brazilian restaurants, they make it yes. on a spit beef. Yes. So you can add whatever you want. 
Oh. And look at all the steam coming out. Um, I have a question. How big of a pan can you fit inside there? Huh? I will also tell you, um, I'll give you the dimensions again. It's 19 and 7 eighths of an inch by 5 and a half inches in the width and 12 and a half inches tall. We have a five-piece baking set that is made to fit exactly in this oven. And I brought the information out here because I knew you guys would ask about it. Um, the baking set is available and... Let me see, here it is. It is uh, $29.95 for the five-piece baking set. Okay, that's a good deal. And it's a customer pick on hsn.com. There it is, we put it on the screen right now because customers are asking what, what'll fit in there. Um, I gave you the dimensions, but we do have for $29.95 an entire baking set. Yep. You know, if, if you want to do every anything from no, look, a- Look at that. Bunca oh, look at that. Oh boy. Oh, so, okay, Marion's telling me to taste it. I'm getting to taste yep. it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, that is good. What is that? What is the spice you use? On it, the... it is a lot of herbs in here, mm. and look how nice it is. So now you get some pita bread if you want, or just mm. some sandwich bread, and you can have the best sandwiches as good as oh, any that place is good. in Athens. You don't have to fly to Greece or to Turkey or somewhere to get this mm. amazing dish. So, oh, look, look, at, look at that, how, mm. for how many? Like you have girls coming over, mm -hmm. for example, for lunch, you do a little, uh, what do you call it? Before you get married or before you get engaged? Like a shower? A shower, yeah. yeah. So you do a shower, you make that, I you should get, know the answer since I've been married so many times. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the answer right yeah, off the top of my head. That's why you don't have the answer. That's right. why. <laughs> yeah. But look if, at that. If you get the food right, then you will stay married, you know? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do more shows with you so I can get better. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> but, all I mean, right, now we have a little yogurt with mint. Oh, Drop oh a little like tzatziki bit sauce. Over. Yeah, tzatziki. Oh, good, boy, very good. that looks so good. Yeah, a little bit on your bread, and Did then you Greg put a chicken Did Greg make that homemade, on. that tzatziki sauce? Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, and you know what? Just, it, it, it's how juicy the meat is. Yeah. Because the, the problem with roasting is you want to roast it for a long time, but then, you know, it's, it comes out, dried out, and then you, you know, what is you've got this something where you've got to get a saw in order to cut it out. This is infusing the juices in your meat, whether it's your turkey, your roast, your lamb, your chicken, um, you know, pork roast, ham, or rice, or yeah. rice, you do baking, you can do baking in this and everything. Totally, any yeah. kind of baking is amazing. You yeah. make souffles, it will rise better. Oh, you yeah. make brioche, it will rise better. You make bread, it rises better. Whatever you make in here, it's better because it's under pressure. So you keep all the moisture in perfectly. Now look at that. Even like slow cooked, smothered pork chops or Brisket, you tell me whatever you like, you can cook in here. So, so we're going to open it up. Okay, what's this in, what, what do we got here? Ah, it's a surprise. That's a surprise, okay. I can't tell because we have some foils on you it. You know what is, what they say, curiosity it killed, killed the cat. Killed the cat. <laughs> I'm very curious, I'm too curious, yeah, I agree. No, it's very good to be curious. <laughs> you know, that's one of the main thing in life. Look, look <gasps> at that in here. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. So this could it, be your Sunday night po uh, uh, pot roast. Are those chops? These are pork chops. Pork chop. Mm. Because Greg birthday is coming up. Yep. So we have to make him birthday dinner. Yep, you know you should know. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's. I mean, look at that. And and how long would you, is this going to cook if you've got something like this? We have that in here for about an hour. But look at the size of this. So we browned them before. And then we put them in here. So it depends a little bit of the thickness of your meat, obviously the right. size of the meat. Do you know, I bet you lamb shank would be good. Lamb mm, shank would be that amazing. That would be a good thing to make. Because, Brisket yeah. would be amazing. Pork chops generally come out dry, but not with this way of cooking in it, you know? Because right. it's just infusing yeah. the juices. It's you like look at that. I can take it off the juice into the meat. I can cut Paul it Pop. with a spoon. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. I can see Greg, his mouth is moving already. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Everybody's like quiet. Like I it's, know. And all look. of a sudden we're in church. And everybody's just staring. <laughs> I know. Everybody's everybody's staring staring something will happen. It looks now, so good. You bring that to the table, people are going to say, oh my God, you know what? 
and you didn't spend a lot of money. So with yeah. this way of cooking, yeah. you can use lesser cuts of meat yeah. and make it really amazing tasting. So can, that, can I taste that? Am I allowed of to? Course. Am I allowed allowed to? Of course. You are allowed. It's your house I, here I, too. It's my house. I don't know. I want, to, I want to see if it's. I mean, I just look at how like moist that is, yeah. and everything just like fell apart. I know. Where you, you don't even know need it. the. I know. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Mmm. I mean, it's that kind of comfort food. Yeah. It just feels, and you're right. You don't have to, the most expensive kind of, you, matter of fact, it would probably be better with like an inexpensive like yeah. brisket where you just cook and cook and cook. Mm, that's good. All right, customer pick, you guys. We got 15 minutes left, not only in the show, but the visit. Uh-huh. Wolfgang's not going to be back till November for a very quick visit. So if you're buying for the holidays, now is the time. We have extended holiday returns. If you're buying this pressure oven for maybe your daughter who has her first apartment or you're treating yourself to it, you know, with extended holiday returns, you have till January 31st, 2019. If for any reason at all, you don't love it, so it's worry-free gift giving, $150 off. Huh? It is the most amazing price. Now, yeah. a lot of you who are vegetarians, you know, this to roast the vegetables mm -hmm. is such a big difference. First of all, you don't boil them, so all the nutrients stay in here. Yeah. Number two, it caramelizes the outside. Now, I know in my home, we love sweet potatoes. My wife, Kalila, loves the sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. So we often roast them just like that or put them on the bottom of the chicken and roast the chicken. Mix mm. it oh, with a little big garlic. With oh, little yeah. olive oil, the garlic for flavor, yeah. but then when it's roasted, we just squish it on some toast, oh, boy, some baguettes that. or whatever, and eat it that way. Our and producer Lindsay's a vegetarian, and oh, she's, like, oh, Lindsay, she's like, I this, need this. <laughs> Lindsay, this is for you here. Yeah, look at that. All right, Unless, oh, but only if she gives us 10 more minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what you have is 10 more minutes. Okay, good. <laughs> that's what you got. She got lucky. You got lucky, All right, yeah. so now I show you one more time how easy it is to use. Put it right in here. No preheating needed. It heats up so fast anyway, so you don't have to oh, preheat. Oh, you don't have to preheat it like an no. oven? No. You close it. You put the lever down. Put the seal on seal or when. So this okay. is sealed just like that. So now here we put it on 450. We can put it on roast or on bake. Okay, toast, bake, warm, rotisserie, and... Roast. Okay, we're gonna have roasted vegetables. And how long will that take? That will take about 20 minutes, and you're gonna have the best vegetables ever. I love that. Oh, all the food on the table looks and so And you know, gorgeous. you don't have to worry about anything because you have the timer. So you put it on your 20 minutes here. Oh, and it goes off and you hear You the can time. go to the hairdresser, you can watch <laughs> your movie, you can play with your kids, whatever you want. This is just makes it so easy. So let's take another phone call. Let's go to Phyllis in uh, Wisconsin, I believe, um, who's a fan uh, and ordered this. Hi, you're on. Hi, Phyllis. How are you? Uh, oh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I got a little chilly on my nose, but if not, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> it's okay. I've got the oven, and I just love it. Yeah, uh, thank you. It's very really good for pot roast. I yeah. even baked an, an apple pie in it last week. Yeah. Mm. It bakes so even because it's under pressure, so you don't have hot and cold spots. You're right. Yeah. It does. bake beautiful. Yeah. I'm getting ready to make uh, uh, pork roast tomorrow. Oh, uh, fantastic. Can I come over? <laughs> sure. Okay. That's good. I That's love pork you. roast. Are you you going to have another pressure oven cookbook coming out? Marianne? Aww. If you tell me to have that. Okay, Marianne, start making another pressure cookbook. Okay. Because, uh, we have this one. Phyllis in Wisconsin wants more I, recipes. I got that one. You have, yeah. You've got this one? What do you think yeah, of this cookbook? I love fall apart pork chops. Those uh, I made. Oh. oh That's Greg's favorite. Oh, it's Greg's favorite? Okay, mm -hmm. so husband approved. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Yeah. Uh, the cookbook is 19.95. We have it. Well, maybe she will make another cookbook because I, I know so many people love this oven. Do you have it right out in your um, kitchen on the counter all the time, Phyllis? It's out all the time, right, right next to the counter next to my oven, which doesn't use much. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of people say that that she uses it more than a oven. She doesn't even. Yeah, me too. Oh, me yeah. at home, I barely turn on my oven, and I have a beautiful stove. You know, it's costed a fortune. <laughs> yeah. But I have that on the counter because I don't like to bend over and go in there and uh, look for my food. Yes. This is on the counter, on the right. back counter, so it's so easy. I open it up and take this thing out. Okay, I have to work here. I just right. talk, Thank you, you talk. Phyllis. I work. Thanks, Phyllis. <laughs> I have a roasted chicken coming out. All right, we're going to do that. So is this a rotisserie that we're doing? Okay, now look at that. Here we have the rotisserie with our chicken. 
Okay, we're gonna take so a look again, at that. again, let's put it, release the steam, open it up, and look at the chicken in here. How look easy that. is that? Oh, uh, there's nothing like a rotisserie chicken, because yeah. it kind of bastes itself. Totally, so you don't baste it, you don't have to do anything. Okay, let me just put it over here fast. All right. Ready. There and it is. We have slow roasted vegetables in there. Marianne, you want to give them out and of put them on course. a plate? Right. And and uh, when you're cooking the chicken, because I know in the oven it's something like 20 minutes a pound. Is yeah. How much faster is it in the pressure? Oh, this one cooks like for 45 minutes. So. 45 minutes. Yeah. So to you. Half the time. Yeah. It's, you're literally cutting your cooking in half, but you're making a delicious rotisserie chicken. How many times have you gone to like a, a chicken place just to get rotisserie chicken or the grocery store where they charge you so much more money per pound just because they have the rotisserie and you don't? Yeah. Right. Totally, totally. Yeah. And generally, it is so dry, you cannot actually eat them, you know? Yeah. I, I, because, you know, they're just going to keep them going yeah, and going. Yeah, they keep them going, going they keep them on around. there, and they cook right. them when they want, not when you want. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. Um, Ooh, I, I so know that's hot. so hot. I know. We usually you take it out, and you're going to let it cool down before you take it out uh, of the of the spit. Uh, what, is the, yeah. what is the technical word for that thing that goes in the middle? Spit. It's spit. Oh, it is it's called spit. a spit. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought I was just... Oh, it's a very complicated word. <laughs> <It's> very, <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't want to have the, use the wrong word. Oh, right here, that's the spit. See that? Oh, okay. So that's All a right. rotisserie spit. And that's included. It's yeah, not with, extra. No, with the two things. And it actually rotates and yeah. bastes whatever it is you're cooking. And there's that delicious, you know, that perfect chicken. And you can do yeah. probably a couple of rock Cornish game hens. Yeah. Or, you know, and look, crispy. look how beautiful brown. Oh. And you can touch the skin. Touch. You know, it? you can even, you can hear it. You can hear yeah. how crispy it is. I know. Amazing. Look at that. A gorgeous, you know, dinner. Yeah. And that's something that everybody loves roast chicken. And how much does it cost? How much costs a chicken to roast, Marianne? Uh, I was about $6. $6. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> we have one chicken for all four of us, for Alexander, Oliver, Galila, and me. And we are very happy. We roast potatoes with it or make some other vegetables with it. Maybe some corn in the summer, and that's it. Do you actually cook at home? I cook at home all the time. <laughs> Do you really? You ask my wife. Maybe she might <laughs> oh, call okay. it. The best is when he brings his kids, because they always tell the truth. And yeah. Oh, really? okay. explain what you they really, cook, yeah. Yeah. And I wonder, because, you know, mm -hmm. you, I just I know. love to cook. Yes, you can see, I wouldn't be here. I could stay home and say, okay, you know what, I'm going to spend the weekend at home, go to my son's football game, and that's it. But no, I love to cook. It's interesting. I always said that one day I'm going to get tired of it, you know. But no. So far, no. I still like it, but maybe I'm still young. That's why. Yeah, <laughs> you're so young. Maybe when you grow up. I just got prematurely <laughs> gray. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. Um, I love that this item is a customer pick, so we don't even have to guess if you like now, it. Look at that. It's $150 off. There's less than five minutes left in the show. Yeah, if you guys want to get the, you know, the pressure oven that's patented and okay. exclusive. Only here. Now look at that. The roasted yeah. chicken Provençal with a little oh. garlic and basil on top. Mm. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay, the souffle is also ready. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Look at that. I mean, the vegetables oh God, are roasted. Everything just looks amazing. One. And imagine this is how you're going to be serving it. I mean, uh, recipes are in the book. It also does come with some recipes. Now, I'm thinking about baking with this because I'm a yeah. baker Look and I see that. you have cookies. Marianne, we're and baking it. It bakes so evenly. It's amazing. And we have the five-piece bakeware set that's available. It's only $29.95 and all the bakeware fits yeah. perfectly in it you get two cookie sheets uh, a six cup uh, bun cake and then you get the square cake pan and then you also get a six cup uh, muffin tin and it has a five-year warranty and it's a customer pick and it's all under $30 yeah. so I recommend that if uh, you're getting this I would get the bakeware set included okay, and sharpening now look knife, at sharpening knife sharpeners knife, available you get too. okay always <laughs> yep. before cutting into something oh do you really sharpen it before, every time before you cut it yeah. into something yeah why not if you have the sharp if there. you have the sharpener, it's so easy. Oh boy. Look at that. How beautiful. See that? And this probably is an expensive cut of meat, and that's yeah. even more the reason to use the pressure oven because exactly. you don't want to screw it up. <laughs> you don't want to say, oh, I can't believe I just threw all that money out the window. You yeah. cannot make a mistake with the pressure oven. Exactly. Look how beautiful that is. Every time, every time, and you can do it however you want, right? Yeah. Rare, medium, rare, medium, medium rare, rare, well done. Like my wife likes always the more well done side. Is that a little potato for me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Should I get a little no, potato look at that. So you want it well done, cut it from the thinner side, mm. oh, and you get beautiful, mm -hmm. well done beef. Mm. And it's still juicy because no juice escapes. 
Yep. Eat it. Mm. Oh, God. All okay. Right. Look at it. I got How a little beautiful. potato here. Perfectly cooked beef. <laughs> I'm eating so potatoes. you make it the way you like it. I like when it's medium rare. If you, and, you, hear, if you hear how quiet I am, it's because I've been eating through this entire oh, two goodness. hours. Everything is so amazingly delicious. $150 off for our final two and a half minutes of the visit. Yeah. This is the final two and a half minutes of the entire visit. Yeah. I mean, Wolfgang had the Today Special yesterday. He's been working like 48 hours straight. <laughs> no. So two more minutes but left. I love it. Two more minutes left. <laughs> what we have in there, the baked potatoes. Mm. All right. Mm, the potato is so good. And the oven, you know, the skin is crisp on the potato. Ooh. The inside is moist. I mean, it's just the perfect, everything comes out perfect. Okay, I'm gonna show you, and uh, you know what is the funniest thing, actually? So many people watch me all the time. Soon I don't gonna have to say it anymore, I think. Now look at that. That's how we open the baked potatoes. Now we do that at the Oscars, and like a crisscross. Yeah, we do a crisscross and then just push it together just like that. So pretty. All oh, right. that is so pretty. See that? And that's we didn't make these for Lindsay, our producer. Oh, yeah, Lindsay. Vegetarian. Lindsay, our, okay. our, our producer is vegan. She, we're saving you a potato. Okay, and <laughs> the rice, too, the Indian <laughs> rice. Oh, yeah, oh, the Indian rice get is spicy. Out, get You're it out, love Marianne. It. Come yeah. on. Yep, yep, we're going to save we that for you, too. We don't have much time left. Okay. And mm. Look at that. Put a little sour cream. Yep. All right, you can add butter if you want to. Or both, some chives, maybe a little cheese. Does she eat cheese, Lindsay, or what? No, yes. Yeah, oh, she's saying yes to cheese. Okay, yes to the cheese. Okay, now look at that. You have beautiful baked potato. Mm. Here we have an extra one. I just if put some... the whole potato in my mouth. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and then here's that vegetarian rice. The Indian vegetable casserole here with rice, vegetables, that and looks all so good. the good Sweet stuff. Sweet potatoes are so good in it. Sweet Lindsay, do you like spicy? Can you eat spicy? Oh, she's like, she's all in. Oh, she likes spicy good. <laughs> she's going to leave her post and run oh, down here. Lindsay is spicy. Okay. Spicy girl, all right. Yep, she sure is. Okay, so $199.95. Oh, no. This is our, like, 30 seconds left in the show. All right, let's say goodbye to everybody, maybe, huh, too? Because thanks so much for calling in. It's really a pleasure and an honor for me to be here and serve all of you and make you a better cook at home. And I want to thank Marianne and Greg who have done so much over the last few days. I want to show you the stock pot and the bowls one more time.